What's up guys and welcome back to Plague Inc. Now last episode we tried to have the bacteria known as Minecraft Let's Plays destroy all life on Earth, but we failed. And I've learned why. I kind of knew why already at the end of the episode. I put too much stock into the de-evolving strategy, so now you get diminished returns when you devolve transmission to put it into lethality. So we're not going to go with that again this time, and I completely ignored the severity meter, which I'm going to show you guys and is actually really important in how to beat the game. But before we get started, I wanted to show you guys a couple of the genes that I unlocked, being all of them. I actually found out that if you finish the game, if you win a game, then you unlock a gene, but if you save right before winning a game, and then load that that save file and win, load that save file and win over and over and over again, you keep unlocking genes. So I spent a few minutes and unlocked all of them, so now we have all of these little extra bonuses that let you tailor and customize your bacteria to your certain strategy. I won't go over all of the ones that I've included, but now we should have a little bit of a boost towards ending and, and having successful videos each time. But of course we can't call it Minecraft Let's Plays because Minecraft Let's Plays was defeated, it was cured, the plague has been wiped out, so we need to come up with something else. And I wanted something else that has kind of been hot on YouTube, something else has been viral, not virus, viral in the internet sense. So I think we're gonna call it FNAF Theories. Perfect. And FNAF Theories will once again start in India, because I still think that it's the best place to start, and this time we're going to be playing on the third speed. Last time I played on the first speed, I had to cut out a lot of time in between to get the episode down to an appropriate length. I think it's a lot better if I just play it on the third speed, and then we can kind of watch all of it unfold. It's not very difficult to pop bubbles, I don't really need to do it in a leisurely manner. So now hopefully it'll be a little more fast paced, a little bit more interesting for people who find the game a little slow. I think we need to start with transmission and we are going to start with mosquitoes. I've seen a lot of people start with mosquitoes and then you get the bio aerosol being the air and the water one and maybe if you need it you can get one in rats but that should be enough. We should be able to do that and then stockpile the rest for lethality. So India is coming along nicely, we have a couple of hundred thousand people and we've actually mutated the nausea symptom, which last time I devolved all of them because I didn't want to be caught, but it turns out evolving symptoms is okay. The first two levels of symptoms being stuff like, um, I think this one is coughing and then you get sneezing, this one you can get a rash and then you get something else. They're, they're not lethal, so they're not a big deal for getting caught, but they can help uh, increase infectivity, but more importantly, once you have infectivity high and lethality high, you get severity high. And this was the bar that I ignored last time. It's a mix of the two, and you need to have this be high to succeed. So if you have no infectivity and high lethality, you don't have a lot of severity, and severity is what you need to successfully win. So we're going to remember that. We're going to try to get severity as high as possible towards the end so that we can wipe out everybody by infecting everybody. Oh man, we're getting all that bubbles. Oh man, we're spreading everywhere. Look at that. We're doing real good. Couple of planes, couple of boats. That's 34 easy, so let's put that into rats and more water. Okay, I think that's good. And we'll also get the bioaerosols now in a second. So India is completely infected. It's just that easy. 1.4 billion people are now infected with FNAF theories. So we're gonna go there, and then bioaerosols costs 22. That shouldn't take very long. And then we should be done. We should be done with transmission. We should be able to just watch as we infect a majority of the world and we'll increase our severity accordingly. Ah, uh, all the bubbles! We just take over the entire planet at once. Okay, that's good. We'll take more infectivity. Oh man, it goes so fast. Okay, the coughing symptom, that's good because we can cough on people to infect them. New minor disease spreading. In a normal checkup, a doctor in China found a new disease, damn it, China, which has been named FNAF theories. It appears to be mostly harmless, but must be investigated further. Other countries are also reporting the disease. So another thing that we need to do, which I'm probably gonna do right now, is make it really difficult to cure. So we're gonna start by going into all of these. So now the cure is gonna be significantly slower and we can race it which is the idea. Oh man, we're getting everywhere. We're getting all the northern countries, all the, oh, we got to New Zealand, one of the big four, like I was talking about last time. I just wanna make sure I get Greenland. Oh, we got Iceland, that's another good one. We're doing really well, actually. If we can get Greenland early on, I'm gonna say this is gonna be easy, but you never really know. Indonesia starts work on a cure. Damn it, Indonesia, can you F off? Okay, we're gonna go with cold, and we're gonna go with 
Um, genetic reshuffle? The thing I don't know about the reshuffle is technically it says it takes more work to develop a cure. Now, I don't know if that's more work and then over time that gets lost. I think I'm gonna save the reshuffle for later. There goes Russia, that's good, it's good, we're getting north. We're now symptomized to hit people in the north, which is really important because of Greenland. Anemia symptom mutated, okay, that's, that's not too bad. We need Greenland, that is the key. I wanna see a little red boat float right into there and I will be happy. Tsunami hits New Guinea, nobody cares. Mexico is leading the global cure, stop it Mexico. So now we're gonna start going a little bit heavier into symptoms. We're gonna get some easy things. We're gonna get coughing, we're gonna get sneezing, we're gonna get insomnia, maybe a little bit of paranoia, just some small things. They're gonna make it a little bit more difficult for people to um, stay healthy and to come up with a cure. So what else is gonna make it? Um, what else can we do to make this a little bit more difficult? Let's get... Uh, let's get that. So now it's going to require much more work. That might have been a problem. That might have been a mistake. We went from 9 to 7. I think if we went from 90 to 70, I think that's how it works. You, you lose, like, a certain percent of progress. So we might have used the reshuffle a little too early. I'm going to have to look into that. How much do we have left? Healthy people, 34 million. Where are those healthy people? Can we see where the healthy people are? No. Damn it. I mean, we know where they are. They're all in Canada because it's where every healthy person is because their healthcare is awesome. Uh, CDC team shut hunts patient zero. Okay, that's not gonna matter. We don't care. We just want to get all of Canada nice and infected. We don't want to kill anybody just yet. Well, I think we can start to slowly move into some new symptoms. So let's get something like uh, seizures. That'll make it a little bit harder for them to cure and it could be slightly lethal. So we should be able to start seeing some deaths show up now on uh, on Earth. How you doing, Canada? Canada is uh, almost completely infected, and that should be the rest of the planet once Canada gone. Immune suppression symptom mutated. That's okay. I'll take it. Uh, I think there are no healthy people left, and we have 72 now. So these are the really important ones that I ignored last time because I wanted to go with poop, and I thought it was funny, like I said. Total organ failure being catastrophic cell death of multiple tissue types causes bloody... Body-wide, not bloody-wide, organ failure and rapid death. That is super lethal. So is comas, and we're gonna get insanity as soon as we can, because insanity will also make it incredibly more difficult to cure. Everybody's insane, how are you gonna do science? And you see we're getting so much DNA. So much DNA from killing people that we can use to further kill people. Something like large swaths of infected tissue lose blood supply and become fatal sources of gangrene. Okay, we'll get necrosis. That sounds gross. And the world should... I was gonna say slowly die off, but not, not slowly. Very quickly die off. So where Minecraft uh, Let's Plays failed, FNAF theories succeed. I was hoping to time that better with everybody dying, but we have a couple of survivors. Come on, guys. You're ruining the ending of my video here. The world, the world just doesn't want it. You know what, world? I'm gonna make you poop yourself now. You can have all the poops. FNAF Theories has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. I guess that's the case when there's only a couple hundred thousand people left. You just, you know it's over. You just have to wait. Victory! FNAF Theories has successfully eliminated all life on Earth. That's gonna be it for this episode of Plague Inc, guys, and I'm happy that I'm actually learning more about the game. I'm actually figuring out how to play it, because it's very different to the free-to-play version I had on my phone. I don't remember stuff like severity, I don't remember it being difficult at all. It seemed like every time I played, it was an easy win. But moving forward, I'm gonna learn more about the game to show you guys, and we're gonna get to look at new pathogens. So next week, I think we're gonna look at fungus which is completely different. You think it might just be a, a reskinned model of the bacteria, but you actually have different transmission, you have different symptoms, uh, different cures, and I think they spread by spores and stuff like that. So it's gonna be really cool. I'm looking forward to playing more of this game. But thank you guys for much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Where's my dinner woman? It's right here, man. Right there. All the kisses, love 100%. And I'm gonna get those points. I wonder, can I just cheat the points out of the kisses? The dog shits better food than this. Well, maybe you should have buried the dog's ass.